Let's kick things off with DraftKings. Talk us through it. There was a time when I thought it was uh, DraftKings and FanDuel's, and that was about it in this space. It's not that way anymore at all. There's a lot of... Co- there's a lot of competition, and I don't think that's what the core issue is. Now, we understand that DraftKings, there's good news. Um, you know, hey, if I was trading this stock, I'd probably take some money off the table right now. And all of this is on the hope that we're going to have a better football season and all this, this kind of nonsense. Tyler, the core issue isn't just competition, isn't just the cost of getting people to come onto the platform, but you're dealing with a casino wagering structure that doesn't have food and entertainment to sell to make some actual profits. I don't see profits. I don't believe that the total addressable market by 2030 is really gonna quadruple from where it is now. And just listen to the CEO from DraftKings about a month ago, I was just listening to a radio interview where he was lamenting how New York State, where they wanna grow and make a lot of money, that the state regulators are just preventing them from making profits. So remember, it's the one part of the casino that's highly regulated. States want to take all the profits. And I think I'm just going to pass on this. I'd rather roll the dice on a craps table. All right, let's move on to uh, Warner Brothers Discovery, which, of course, had a rough, rough week. They did a lot of taking some merger-related costs, uh, some, some staffing cuts, uh, administrative uh, shuffles. What do you think? You know, I love this stock back when it was Viacom after the Hong Kong whale. Remember how it like got crushed because that guy was over leveraged and committing fraud. You know, I was buying it maybe in the high 30s back when it was Viacom. I cut not, my not, losses. Not Viacom. Warner, just, Brothers, you know, Warner Brothers. Warner well, Brothers was this is not Warner. Viacom. No, and and so when you're looking at streaming, okay, what we have to remember is you're dealing with a battle between owning HBO Max and Discovery a la carte and having it be separate from everything else. I don't think I want to own HBO Max, you know, just alone. I want to have Discovery. They're going to talking about making a profit next year. They're talking about, or in 2024, they're talking about maybe making a billion dollars. I don't know that's going to happen. What I can tell you, if a company just wants to work on making money, and they just want to work on raising the price, I think that's a better deal than Viacom. I think it's a better deal than Netflix. And I think it's a better deal than the other streamings out there. And so that's why I might want to take a chance on it. But you have to remember, we're going to have four more messy quarters. And so this is the one for value players that want to make some cash. I think this is the play. All right, let's move on to Beyond Meat. That's the final one for the day. Beyond Meat. Okay, I have to tell you, I'm a vegan. I'm one of those weirdos that just eats plants. But what Beyond Meat's issue is, even though I own the stock for full disclosure, and I was buying it recently here in the 30s, Beyond Meat is overextending what they want to do with this this thing about beef jerky. I don't think people want to slip into a Slim Jim are necessarily the first audience I would like to meet, okay? So the bottom line is they showed last year that they can make a 30% gross margin. Now it's negative. Why? Because they're spending too much on hiring people like the Kardashians to try to be spokespeople and all this stuff. So if Ethan, the CEO, can get back to basics, just like with Warner Brothers, try to make a profit, raise raise the money, see who your core fans are, I think Beyond Meat can be a profitable company. But right now, it just doesn't have what it takes. I still think that if you believe in the addressable market, which I do, this still has a chance to make some money. I think you nibble at it, buy a little, see where it goes. 